All right, so it's time for a challenge, and today I'm gonna try to beat betting sites using AI. Betting sites are just making way too much money today, and it's time to set a stop to this. So here's the challenge. I'm gonna try to build a program that uses artificial intelligence to beat the betting sites by predicting the results ahead of time. So that's the challenge. I'm not sure that this is entirely legal though, but let's go. Okay, so that's not actually what programming looks like. Programming looks more like this. So at this point, you might be wondering how we're gonna be able to do this. And we're gonna use something called machine learning to predict the results of tennis matches. And then we're gonna bet on five different tennis games or matches, not sure what it's called. Then we're gonna put in a thousand dollars on each bet. And then we're gonna see if we can actually beat these betting sites or if we just end up losing hard. I can kind of see either scenario coming true, but I really wanna beat them though. So uh, let's start out by just building it. All right, so it's now Monday and I finished this yesterday and I think it's working. I'm not quite sure how, but I think it's working. I feel like I have no clue actually what I've put together here, but let's not dwell on things like trying to understand how all this works in order to minimize the risk of losing our money and let's just put it to the test. Everything that I've used for this will be linked in the description also in case you want to try it out yourself. But now let's predict some games and let's start doing some gambling. All right, so let's start out by just running our program to make our predictions. All right, so here are the games that we're gonna bet on. We're gonna bet on Gael Monfils versus Dominic Thiem, Stan Wawrinka or something versus Daniel Medvedev. And we're gonna bet on Rafael Nadal versus Nick Kyrgios. Andre Rublev versus Alexander Zverev. And lastly, we're gonna bet on Roger Federer versus Tennis Sandgren. Not sure how to say any of those names, but that's what it sounds like. All right, so perfect. We're gonna bet on those five games and I'm not gonna use real money because this might actually be illegal uh, and it's not worth the risk. All right, so if we take a look at this first game, which is Gael, Gael. Monfils versus Dominic Thiem, we can see that the odds on bet365 are 1.3 times our money on Dominic Thiem and 3.5 times our money on Gael Monfils. And our script, if we take a look at what our script actually predicted, it predicted that Gael will win. So we're gonna bet on the one that Bet365 essentially doesn't think will win because that's the one that they've said has 3.5 in odds. So if we bet $1,000 on him, we can potentially get 3,500 so we'll win 2,500 if he wins and if we bet on the first one then we just get 1.3 times our money so we'll just get 300 if we bet a thousand uh, so that means that they think that Gael Monfils won't win so we're going to bet against bet365 so this will be really interesting if we actually win this then this script might actually be pretty good and since I pretty much have no interest in actually watching these games, I'm gonna play Red Dead Redemption while this is going on in the background, and then we're gonna come back and see who actually won.
All right, so that did not quite go according to plan. We lost our money, uh, so that kind of sucks, but we won't let ourselves be discouraged and we're gonna just bet more money because that makes total sense. And this time we're gonna again be betting against who bet365 thinks will win. So we're gonna bet $1,000 for 3.75 times our money this time on Stan Wawrinka versus Daniel Medvedev. So we're gonna bet on Stan Wawrinka for the win. Let's go. Okay, nice. So uh, this time we actually won. We've beaten Bet365 once and they've beaten us once. In total we've betted $2,000 and we're right now at $2,750, which means that we've profited $750, which is pretty good still, even though we lost the first $1,000 that we betted. Let's see what the next game will do. All right, so for this one, as we can see, our prediction is that the same as Bet365, and that is that Rafael Nadal will win. And since we have the same prediction as Bet365, that means that we're getting shitty odds. So we only have 1.16 times the money because Rafael Nadal is so favored. But yeah, let's see what happens. Oh, as good as it gets. Well played. Very well played. Okay, so not a huge surprise that Rafael Nadal won. I know pretty much nothing about tennis, but I have heard about him and I know he's pretty decent, so not a huge surprise that he did win. Uh, but now we're at $3,910 in total, and we've betted a total of $3,000, which means that we've made a profit of $910. And that's pretty good. That means that we've made two out of three bets, which is also really good. It means that the program is working quite well, at least so far. Um, so what I'm thinking now is that we're gonna just run through these last two games and we're gonna come back tomorrow with the final score. Okay, so now we're all done with the betting and we've betted on a total of five games and out of those five games we've actually won four of them, which is pretty insane. And I do understand that like ideally in order to test that this properly works we would have to do it on a way larger scale with way more games and uh, that way we would be able to figure out that it's not just a fluke that this worked this time. But I won't do that and I'm pretty happy with it still. We betted a total of $5,000 and now we ended up with $6,990. And that means that we made a profit of $1,990, which is really good on five total games of betting. And if we want to get a little bit mathy on this, we could say that we made a 39% profit in a day and a half. And that's pretty good or like extremely good ROI in my opinion. So I'm very happy with that. So that was a really fun build to do. And I just want to mention that I'm not at all an expert in machine learning or anything like that. So don't get any ideas. I did what pretty much any coder does. And that is I found a existing repo on GitHub and that's kind of what I used. And that was created by Edward Thomas. And that will also be the repo that will be linked in the description in case you want to try it out yourself. And that's kind of more often than not what happens when you're a programmer. You very rarely have to actually write something out from scratch yourself. Usually anything that you think of, someone else will have built something for that before. So I just want to recommend this repo and that you check it out. It seemed to be working really well as you saw. Also, this video is sponsored by Kite. Kite is an auto-completion engine for Python that uses machine learning to provide the completions. It integrates with tons of different text editors like Atom, Visual Studio Code, Sublime, Vim, and PyCharm. It has a few really cool features, the first one being ranked completions. Kite's completions are sorted by relevance instead of popularity or alphabet or something like that. 
And like I said before, they use machine learning to provide the completions, which is how they're able to come up with better suggestions than any other system that I've used. And the second feature is line of code completions, which means that it's able to complete full lines of code for you. Third feature is called intelligent snippets. Using their machine learning, they're able to suggest placeholder values for whenever you're calling different functions. Lastly, we have Copilot, which means you no longer need to Google Python documentation because Copilot lets you see the documentation right within your text editor or IDE. So I definitely recommend downloading Kite and giving it a try. There'll be a link in the description. So yeah, this was a really fun one to do. And I also want to mention that that little B-roll section at the beginning, uh, in case you want to see how that was all shot, I did that with a guy called Peter Lindgren and his channel will be linked in the description as well. And you'll see a little thing somewhere here as well uh, for his channel. That was a really fun one. And if you want to see like a behind the scenes of how we did that, he has a video on that that will also be linked and there will be something in the description and everywhere else for that as well. And lastly, before you leave, I want to mention something that I've created called Clean Code Friday, which is where I send out a short email once every week, every Friday, uh, that contains a few of the things that I've found throughout the week that are interesting or that I think are interesting for you to hear about. Things like productivity tips and tricks, coding tips and tricks, uh, books I've read, articles I've read, podcasts I've listened to, and really anything that I think you might enjoy. So if you want to sign up to that, you can go to caltech.com slash clean code and you can sign up for it there. There will also be a link to that in the description as well. There's lots of links in this episode. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I'll see you in the next one.